quickly before the video starts, remember to subscribe because at 500 subscribers, I'm going to be releasing a hazmat rope pulling tutorial. Anyways, remember to join the Discord, first link in the description, and I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a shadow in Blender, and what I mean by this is when you are walking and you can see a shadow behind you. So, for this, you can I've used the camera shakeify, or a camera tracking thing. So if I quickly add a plane to show the shadow, and if I, I'm going to just get a few, or get a light like that. Then if I also import the tracking in, you can, again, like I said, you can do this with camera shakeify. You just need it because obviously you're going to have your camera moving. But we're going to parent it to the camera that's moving. I'm just going to add a camera in. But to add the shadow, we actually need something that's going to cast a shadow. So you can actually just find it on Google. Just search up PNG, shadow PNG. And then if you go to preference, then if you go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and search up image, and then tick this box. And then if... You have the actual PNG version of it. File, import, images plane. And as you see, if I go in this, you can, it's like that. And all I'm going to do is click on him and then click on the camera and then click Control P, object. And as you can see, when the camera moves, he'll move behind. So if I go in cycles there, you can see the shadow color like that. And now if I just quickly keyframe it. Also, one thing, you might want to put him back a bit. Otherwise, it might clip through it. So now you can see he moves with it. There's a shadow. And it would look a lot better, obviously, when the camera's moving. And also when there's a more rough carpet. Anyways, this was one of the easiest tutorials. But it's actually really useful. So if this helped, remember to subscribe and like. Join the Discord, first link in the description. And I will see you in a bit.